Hello friends, this is Ina Solpons from Refugee Alliance Ministries in Norway reminding you, as I do every day, to strengthen yourself, to, to take courage and take heart, as the Bible said. Don't let the circumstances pull you down. Don't let harsh words or uh, neglect or anything from others pull you down. Stand up, raise your head, lift your head and remind yourself, speak to yourself saying, I know who I am. I'm a good person. They can say whatever they want. I'm a good person. And you can also say that God cares for me. God loves me. Maybe people don't love me, but that's because they don't know who I truly am. <laughs> you should say these things to you. So. If no one else encourages you, encourage yourself. Uh, I also want to be here every day in these videos to encourage you, encourage you because you are created in the image of God. There is no person like you in the whole planet. You're unique and no one else can take your place. No one else has the same character, the same personality as you. No one else has the same touch to life as you have. So no one can take your place. So you should lift your head. You should not be ashamed. Um, God says that he takes away the shame and he gives you double for all the things that has shamed you in your life. He will give you double. When you come to him, when you attach to him, you know, um, the most famous verse in the Bible is uh, John 3.16, I, I guess. For God so loved the world and you that he gave his only begotten son's son so that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. And uh, many people know that verse. But when he says believe, many people don't get what it means because it doesn't refer to believe that he exists or believe that there is a god even the devil believes that there is a god and that he is one and he shivers at the thought of it uh, but to believe in the way jesus says is to cling to is to trust in is to adhere to so um it is to let yourself go and just fall in the arms. Trust in him. Trust that what he says is true. Trust that he is what he says, uh, who he says, and then go do it. Um, and uh, that's what we try to do in Refugee Alliance. And what, that's what we encourage everybody else to do also. To, to really trust, to trust in God. Not just to believe that he exists, but to trust in him. To fall down in his arms. Let him love you. Let him embrace you. Let him lift your head. God, God, Yahweh, the creator of heaven and earth. He is the lifter of our heads. He loves to take those who feel that they are nothing. Um, and use them. You could look at me. Uh, you can look at many in Refugee Alliance. God loves to take that which is nothing to shame the vice. That's in the Bible. That's typical of our God. It's typical of Jesus when he went around it being the image of God on the earth. You know, the incarnation of God, the invisible God incarnated. He went to the sinners the people that other people uh, despised and rejected, he went to those whom nobody saw and he lifted them up and he sent them as his messengers. He used them to spread this message. And he's doing the same today. He can still use you. Uh, if you feel that you have failed in life, if you feel that you should have come much further by now, it's not too late. Today I was very much reminded to speak to those of you who are not the youngest, but those of you who feel that mm, my life has passed almost. I've advanced in age, but I'm not where I wanted to be at this point in my life. Um, 
I was reminded to say that until the gray hairs, God will carry you. Even when your hairs are gray, he will carry you and his purpose will surely come to pass. You know, on Facebook, there is the message that is very encouraging. I love it. It's about um, the man who started Kentucky Fried Chicken. Have you seen it? Um, he lost all his jobs. He lost his parents. He left his wife. His marriage broke. It, and by the time he was retiring, he was suicidal. He wanted to end his life by 65 or something. Then he got this idea and he felt he could do one thing better than others and that was to cook and to fry, fry chicken. <laughs> and he started doing that and by the uh, age of 80 or 85 or something, he had a large international enterprise. Um, you know, Kentucky Fried Chicken, I think all of us know it. Um, so that started very late in his life and up till then he had felt like a failure. It's not too late for you, my dear. It's not too late. I also saw Reinhard Bonke. I'm going to post a short video where he says that when he was young, he prayed and prayed and people prophesied over him saying, you're going to see this and these things. And he didn't see them. They didn't come to pass. So he felt um, stressed out and frustrated. And now he says, by the time he's now 75, he says, I am walking in the fulfillment, fulfillment of all, uh, all the things I dreamed of and all the things people prophesied to me when I was young. And I want to say the same thing to you. It's not too late. It's not too late. It's not too late to jump into the arms of God. It's not too late to surrender 100% to Him. It's not too late to fear God more than you fear people. It's not too late to step out of the boat and walk on water. It's not too late. It's not too late for you, my friend. So, um, He will carry you always. And if you have had this dream, now is the time to do it. Now is the time to do it. It's not too late. Step out of the boat and do it. Uh, when we die, we will not meet people from our neighborhood at the gate. We will meet God himself. Uh, it is not people who are the most uh, important judge in our lives. If they judge you, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's what God says about you that matters. And one day when you follow him and you follow the calling that he has given to you uh, and you love him with all your heart, with all your strength, with all your might, you know, and you love your neighbor as yourself, then he will say to you, well done, you good and faithful servant. It's not too late to start. So I'm just trying to push you push you over the edge. Uh, living for your pension is not the most important. Living uh, so that people will say, ah, he had a good car. What does it matter? It doesn't matter in the... <laughs> so, uh, live. Live 100% for God and then you will see that his promises are true and you will live in his love and that's worth more than life itself. His love is worth more than life itself. So, um, a bit long message today, but I hope that you heard me. I hope that you will indeed step out of the boat, rise from the sofa and step into the plan God has had for you all along. It's not too late. And he will give you the power. He will give you the protection. He will give you the strength that you need. Just pray and listen and go. You know what is his will. He wants all people to be saved and to know the truth. He wants all people to be healed and restored and loved and belong. He is the father. He, w he longs for his children. Also those who have never heard of him, he longs for them. So, um, 
I will speak more tomorrow. I wanted to say something else today, but uh, this was the message for today and tomorrow I have uh, another message that I really want to say to you. So please check in tomorrow and uh, you'll hear what I really wanted to say today. Let me pray. Father, I thank you for your love that is constant, that never changes even when we change. I pray for those who feel stuck, that you will release them now. I pray for those who are disappointed of life, that you will open their eyes to see the next step ahead of them, to see the good people you have put in their path and the people you have put there for them to help. Father, push them out so that they can walk with you. Put a fire and burning inside of their hearts so that you can love and love extremely like you love us. I pray this, let a fire of love come into their hearts, Lord, so that they can follow you and love people. I ask this to the glory of your name, our Savior, and to the help of everyone who is listening and everyone they will meet. In Jesus' name, Amen. Oh! <laughs> Sorry, when I'm praying, I'm really praying, so I forget the camera. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I will try to improve that. Okay, my friends, sorry about that. Uh, remember, you are not alone, and I have something important to tell to you tomorrow, so I'll see you tomorrow. Until tomorrow, be blessed and safe. We are together. <laughs>